So I've had these boots now for seven months, I think, roughly, maybe a little bit longer. They're a little bit untidy because I've just come back from a trip in the woods and I was kicking the campfire and, you know, scraping ground and things with them. So uh, they are a bit beaten up. So what I've got here is a uh, dubbin. Dubbin, I, my dad used to use this on his football boots um, when I was a kid and uh, it's good sort of leather treatment care and Dubbin's made from oil, tallow and natural wax so you know it really sort of penetrates the leather and helps waterproof it and it will really prolong the life of most leather things I think you can use it on leather jackets the same my dad used it on his football boots when he was playing football and um, you know it's really good stuff and it's old it's, it's a really old thing and you can just, you know, slap it on, but uh, I was reading up about how this stuff works and so I'm going to follow the manufacturer's instructions and, uh, you know, use it properly and see how the boots come out after. So I've just put the oven on to warm up slightly. Not a high temperature, just 50 degrees. I don't want it any higher than that. I'm going to take the laces out and give each boot a little bit of a clean up with a damp cloth. Dig the mud out the bottoms as well. So they're a bit wet. I'm going to dry them. My dad always used to say, stuff them with newspaper just to make sure the inside is completely dry because the dry newspaper draws out any moisture that may have got in there while we were washing them. Then, I'm going to wrap them in newspaper, again to help them dry properly. Right. And I'm going to stand them in the oven. I'm also going to put the dub in, in the oven as well. And the reason for that is because the dubbing is a wax based product. So if, the, if you warm the wax and you warm the leather, it'll penetrate a lot further in, therefore giving a better waterproof finish to it. So I've turned the oven right down. It's on about 40 degrees. It's not hot by any stretch. It's just enough to warm that wax up and warm the leather so that it can receive the wax properly. I'm going to leave that for about half an hour and then we'll come back and get them out and coat them in the dubbing. Okay, so the boots sat in the oven. So I left them a bit longer but I turned the oven off. Um, so these are, you know, warm but most definitely not hot. You don't want to add direct heat to the boots and you don't want to get them too hot. But the leather is nicely warmed through. Also the dubbing is nice and warm. I've got this whole cloth here. I'm just going to get a wrap it around my finger. And you don't want too much because that can be bad as well. So I'm just going to put a little bit on and then just start gently rubbing it in. Turn it by the fire so that we keep the warmth. And 
And that little bit I've got, I'm going to spread as far as I can. I'm really work it into this part because these are the bits you know that potentially could leak in the future so if you get right in them cracks that'll just help working that in, pay special attention to all the stitching and all the joins, all the little cracks you see. I think that will about do for now. So that's one boot done. better already but I'm going to let that soak in before I sort of buff it off so I'm just going to leave that in the warm while I mess about with the other one and you can see the difference in them already you know this one's looking almost back to brand new again and you can see how pale this one is from the uh, from the use it's had raining out today so you know this is a good day it's the weekend I've not got any plans it's a good day just to sit in the warm and just take a bit of care over this stuff so that when you're out in the bad weather this stuff will then look after you Leave that by the fire, keep it warm. And that's one layer put on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these to sit for 20 minutes, half an hour. Let that dub in really soak in. Now I'm going to put another layer on the same. Give them another half an hour and then we'll buff it off. So again, I'm going to leave these by the warm, not too close to the fire, but just warm enough and then we'll uh, do it all again in a little bit. So I've given these a second coat and they look pretty good to be fair. You can sort of feel the kind of wax on them now. So this is a little shoe polish kit. What I'm gonna do is take the soft brush from there and I'm just gonna kind of buff that up. should just sort of take off any excess dubbing that's left on the surface. And I've got some shoe polish here and this is a neutral colour so it's just kind of white in there. I'm just going to put a bit of that on the brush. That'll just help with the waterproofing as well. I'm just going to work that in with this soft brush. You know, the shoe polish, I think it's optional, but I believe, you know, if you're going to do it, do it properly and. Uh, Really give yourself a fighting chance of making these boots last a long time. And I don't do this often, you know, once in a blue moon is all you need, and these boots will look after you. And that'll about do us, I think. And these little shoe polish kits, they're not expensive. Um, 
had this one for ages. You can use it, you know, you use them for all different things. And uh, and the dubbing was only a few quid. I can't remember how much it was. It doesn't say on the tin, but it wasn't a lot. I think you can get them on Amazon. This and you can get these on Amazon. I'll have a look, see if I can find some, and I'll link them below. And the last thing will be just put the laces back. And that's it, maintenance done. And they look good as new to me. And they smell lovely too. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you could hit the thumbs up, I'd be most grateful. But uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much.